everyone. My name is Aslanbek Murzahmetov, a senior lecturer at the Department of Information Systems and its Information Communication Technologies course. Today, we talk about cybersecurity. Nowadays, all of us using mobile technologies connecting to internet. And every day, we are doing a lot of types of online operation. We are chatting, send the video and photos. We are sharing our personal information in social networks, using back application for online transactions and doing a lot of types of online operations. And it's very important to know the basic elements of cybersecurity and understand how our personal information are protected. Today's lecture outline is introduction to cybersecurity. The next is types of cybersecurity and types of cybersecurity attacks. Cybersecurity is a practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. The goal of cybersecurity is to give people the freedom to enjoy computer networks without the fear of compromising their rights and interests. A successful cybersecurity approach has multiple layers of protection spread across the computers, networks, programs, all data that one intends to keep it safe. In organization, the people, process, and the technology must all complement one another to create an effective defense from cyber attacks. So, the goal of cybersecurity is to give people the freedom to enjoy computer networks without the fear of compromising their rights and interests. Users must understand and comply with basic data security principles like choosing strong passwords, being wary of attachment in a mail, and baking up data. Why is cybersecurity important? In today's connected world, Everyone benefits from advanced cyber defense programs. At an individual level, a cybersecurity attack can result in everything from identify thefts to extortion attempts to the loss of important data like family photos or videos from your mobile phone. Everyone relies on critical infrastructure like power plants, hospitals, and financial service companies. Securing this and other organizations is essential to keeping our security functioning. Let's talk about types of cybersecurity. The first one is antivirus and anti-malware softwares. The next one is application security. The next is behavioral analytics. And we also know about data loss preventions. We know about ML security, firewalls, and one of the most types of cybersecurity is mobile devices securities. So let's talk about this in details. So types of cybersecurity. The first one is antivirus and anti-malware softwares. Sometimes malware will infect a network but a light dopamine for a day or even weeks. The best anti-malware programs not only scan for malware upon entry but also continuously track files after hard to find anomalies, remove malwares and fixed images. Next one is application security. Any software you use to run your business needs to be protected, whether your IT staff builds it or whether you buy it. Unfortunately, any application may contain holes or vulnerabilities that attackers can use to interact your network. Application security improves the hardware, software, and processes you use to close those holes. Next one is behavioral analytics. To detect abnormal network behaviors, you must know what normal behaviors looks like. Behavioral analytics tools automatically discern activities that divide from the norm. Your security team can better identify indicators of compromise that poses to a potential problem and quickly remind this. And the next one is data loss prevention or DLP in a short. 
Organization must make sure that their staff does not send sensitive information outside the network. Data loss prevention technologies can stop people from uploading, forwarding or even printing critical information in an in unsafe manner. And the next one is email security. So email security gateways are the number one third vectors for security branch. Attackers use personal information and the social engineering tactics to build phishing campaigns to define prisons and send them to sites serving up malware. An ML security application blocks incoming attacks and controls outbound message to prevent the loss of sensitive data. And the next is firewalls. Firewalls put up a barrier between your trusted internet network and the untrusted outside network, such as the internet. They use a set of defended rules to allow or block traffic. A firewall can be hardware, software or both. And the next one is mobile security. It's very important nowadays because all of you using mobiles, using uh, mobile applications, uh, download some information uh, from internet, from App Store, from uh, Play Market and so on. So cyber criminals are increasingly targeting mobile devices and apps. Within the next three years, 90% of IT may support corporate application on personal mobile devi devices. Of course, you need to control which devices can access your internet. You also need to configure their connection to keep network traffic provided. And all of this is types of cyber securities. Also, nowadays, there are a lot of types of cybersecurity attacks like backdoor, denial of service attacks, direct access attacks, if droppings, phishing, social engineering, and uh, spoofings. It's very important to know the types of attacks. Let's talk about all of these types in details. Cybersecurity attacks. A vulnerability is a weakness in design, implementation, operation, or internet control. To secure a computer systems, it's important to understand the attacks that can be made against it, and these threats can typically be classified into one of the below attacks. The first one is a backdoor. A backdoor in a computer system, a crypto system, or in an algorithm. It's a secret method of basing normal identification or security controls. They may can exist for a number of reasons, including by original design or from poor configuration. They may have been added by authorized party to allow some limited access or by attackers for malicious reasons. But regardless of the mobile time they access they create a vulnerability. Backdoors can be hard to detect and the detection of backdoors are usually discovered by someone who has access to application source code or intimate knowledge of the computer operating systems. The next one is denial of service attack. It's designed to make a machine or network resource unavailable to its intended users. Attackers can deny service of individual victims, such as by deliberately entering a wrong password enough contactive times to cause the victim's account to be locked, or they may overload the capabilities of machine or network and block all users at once. While a network attacks from a single IP address can be blocked by adding a new firewall rule, Many forms of distributed denial of service attacks are possible, where attack comes from a large number of points, and the finding of much more difficult. Such attacks can organize it from by the zombie computers and the botnets, or from a range of other possible techniques, including refraction and the amplification attacks where innocent 
systems are fault into sending traffic to their victim. Directed access attacks. Unauthorized user gaining physical access to a computer is most likely able to directly copy data from it. They may also compromise security by making operating systems modification, installing software like ORM, scale loggers, covers, listening devices, and using wireless mice. Even when the system is protected by standard security and insurance, this may be able to bypass it by booting another operating system or tools form as a CD-ROM or other bootable media. Disk encrypt and the trusted platform model are designed to prevent this attack. Next one is eavesdropping. It's the act of surreptitiously listening to a provide computer communication. Typically, it's between hosts on a networks. Even machines that operate as a closed system can be eavesdropped upon via monitoring the faint of electromagnetic transformation generated by hardware. Uh, it's uh, one of the most uh, popular types of cybersecurity attacks. Phishing is an attempt to acquire sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, and credit card details directly from users by deceiving the users. Phishing is typically carried out by email snooping and instant messaging, and it often directs users to enter details at a fake website whose look and feel like original one. The fake website often asks for personal information, such as long in details and passwords. This information can then be used to gain access to the individual real account on the real website. Preying in a victim's trust, phishing can be classified as a form of social engineering. Attackers are using creative ways to gain access to a real account. A common scam is uh, for attackers to send fake electronic invoices to individuals showing that they recently purchased music, apps, or other things, and industrying them to click on a link if their purchases were not authorized. It's uh, one of the famous types of cybersecurity attacks. And the next one is privileged escalation. It describes a situation where an attacker with some level of restricted access is able to, without authorization, elevate their privilege or access level. For example, a standard computer users may be able to exploit in the system to gain access to restricted data, or even become root and have full unrestricted access to a system. Social engineering in software as a computer security is concerned aims to convince a user to disclose secrets such as passwords, card number and so on by for example impersonating a bank, contractor and customers. Social engineering in the context of information security is a psychological manipulation of people into performing action or devolving traditional information or secret information. A common scam involves fake emails sent to account and finance departments. It's very important nowadays because all of us nowadays have social networks, all of us are using mobile devices, uh, using internet technologies and so on. Spoofing is an act of masquerading as a valid entity through falsification of data, such as IP address and the username, in order to gain access to information or resource that only the otherwise and authorized to obtain. There are several types of spoofing, including ML spoofing, IP address spoofing, MAX spoofing, and the biometric spoofing, where an attacker products to fake biometric simple to pose as another users. It's very important nowadays. Let's talk about attacking motivations. As with physical security, the motivational branches of computer security vary between attackers. Some of them vandals, some of them activists, and other 
a criminal looking for financial gain. Additionally, recent attacker motivation can be traded back to extremist organizations seeking to gain political advantage or disrupt social agendas. The growth of internet, mobile technologies and inexpensive computing devices that has led to a rise in capabilities but also risk to environments that are deemed as vital to operations. All critical targeted environments are susceptible to compromise and has led to a series of proactive studies on how to migrate the risk by taking into consideration motivations by these types of factors. Several stark differences exist between the hacker motivation and that of nation-state actors seeking to attack based on ideological per preference. A standard path of motivation for any practical system is to identify what might motivate an attack on that system and who might be motivated to brain ship. In this presentation you, you can see some of types of these people and their goals. For example, for students is to have fun snooping on people's emails. And for businessmen is discover a secret strategic information about marketing plans. Dear students, if you have some questions, you can email me. So thank you for your attentions. Good luck.